This is a private statement made to the members of the Billion Coin community. My name is Dan Lutz and I'm running for the leader of the Billion Coin community for America. I've been part of the Billion Coin community since the pre-launch. And since the very beginning, I recognize the genius of a coin whose price only goes up. I also realized that the price of that coin would never again be as low as it was on the first day. Only a tenth of a penny per TBC coin. So as a result, I have millions of TBC coin. Over the last few years, I've been working towards the global currency reset. And I've been involved with separate efforts to eliminate the debt of the world's governments and its people. The current cabal system of corporate government run by banking elites has created a debt slavery system. Through the creation of a corporate entity by way of your birth certificate, a system of perpetual debt was placed on you without your knowledge. The cabal, or so-called black hats, in order to institute their one world order, have brought the world to the brink of war. And if successful, they would have controlled every part of your life and death. The good news is, as the other side of the system, the White Hats, have won. And they're trying to reset the world currency to a gold-backed system and fund the new American Republic that has already replaced the cabal-controlled USA Corporation. The White Hats are part of the existing system and have positive goals that I fully respect and pray for their success. The original system did not start out as a debt slavery system. It was set up by the royal families from around the world to benefit everyone. They used their tremendous gold asset to be a stable foundation for a new world economy with the goal of prosperity for all. The United Nations, World Bank, Bank of International Settlements, IMF, Federal Reserve, and the Vatican Bank were all part of this so-called plan of the experts. The plan called for one person to represent their combined wealth. It was placed in trust and he would be under his title of M1 control the system. M1's ultimate goal would be to bring abundance to the world and its people. The system was taken over by the cabal through their control over the Federal Reserve and the USA Corporation. And the rural assets were not used as intended. The cabal used a fiat debt currency system and their control over the stock market to create a boom-bust cycle and reap the harvest of their debt slave commercial entities, you. All the agreements as of August 15, 2015 between the royals and the system have come to an end. Those gold assets can now be used again. Several times last year, I flew to meet the current M1. I saw how he has been moving to get the system to accept the gold asset and continued the, the plan of the experts to bring abundance. Hello, this is Tracy Davison and I'm in Laos. Today is June 15, 2015 and we have a very special interview today. Let me introduce my guests. We'll start with Dan Lutz, who you've met before in our breaking news story last week. He was here in Laos for about two weeks, about two weeks ago, and he uh, met with uh, M1 to his right, and to the right of M1 is Annie Forrest, and she is the World Prime Minister of Finance and Banking. He's been working to distribute the assets and pay off the debt of the world. He is now having some success in eliminating the debt of the people in Indonesia, and I pray it can spread from there to everywhere in the world. During my meetings with M1, I spoke to him about the need of a cryptocurrency-based system. Through these meetings, I have come to understand where it fits in a new world asset-based system. I've been looking into the core technologies of several cryptocurrencies and how they have been used. Many coins offer great riches, but in my opinion, have no chance of success, and some were complete scams. When I first found the pre-launch site for the Billion Coin, 
and I read the membership agreement, I was immediately excited and realized the power and simplicity of this idea. This is what the membership agreement says. All members of the Billion Coin community agree that the coin will never go down in value. It can only go up in price. This agreement is hinged on a software program that delivers the price of TBC up 1-5% to daily until it reaches the ultimate price. Wow. That is a simple idea that will make us all wealthy. The value in the billion coin is in the people. The more the people join, the greater the price. I felt that that simple idea has the power to transform the world into abundance. This idea, together with the understanding that the billion coin is a private agreement between people and is not a public affair, gave me the confidence to know that, I, that it would not be stopped. This is a private money and only traded between its members for their products and services. This keeps the jurisdiction out of the hands of government. We remain in the private side of the world economies, just as the royal families have controlled their assets and provided to the public side with their assets a stable foundation. We have our own asset. We have TBC coin. And this is also the reason opening my words were this is a private statement made to the members of the Billion Coin community. We must recognize that we the people are entitled to make private agreements between ourselves and to trade amongst ourselves. I have through all my experience come to believe that the Billion Coin will reach the goal of 1 billion members and the price per current coin will be 1 billion euros. This means our private economy of 1 billion people will have a value of a billion times a billion. That's one followed by 18 zeros, which is a quintillion. One of the most interesting things to me is that the one quintillion is the same number that all three sides, M1, the white hats, and the black hats, are all using as the amount to flip the world economy into. This synchronicity shows me God's perfection. I know that our private The Billion Coin Economy will sit right alongside their public efforts to create a bridge from the old debt slavery system to a new asset-based currency. It's too volatile for retailers to gamble on it. The Billion Coin price is set by a programmed formula and not subject to the market exchange. That means it will not go through the boom and bust cycles. It will only boom and the price will never drop. This will be a great news for retailers. They will not lose by accepting the TPC. My plan to our success comes from two paths. The first is to bring businesses to the Billion Coin community. And the second is to build businesses around the Billion Coin community. In bringing businesses, we must take TBC coin to the manufacturers and retailers. This is how we get mass adoption. We must not sit on our hands and wait for the price to rise to $1 billion per coin. If we want a private asset to grow, we must take action. We must host face-to-face -face meetings. We must host meetings with manufacturers and service providers. Only by meeting with groups and feeling the spirit of our fellow man can we truly reach our goals. I choose to lead through example and through my efforts to bring TBC to the people. I've been asked several times if the Billion Coin is a network marketing product. I had to say no, it's not, but I saw that that was an opportunity. So a few months ago I started a new network marketing business called TBC.Money. The Buyers Club for TBC. This site has not launched it, but will in a few weeks. This will be my first TBC-based business. I've been gathering my leaders and will be the hub for my efforts to make many businesses around TBC. The reward that is offered by admin for the billion coin to the leader of each country is 100,000 TBC coin. This is meant to be as fuel to grow the TBC community in all the countries. I have already enough abundance of TBC coin and I am a TBC millionaire many times over. 
Ultimately, when we have reached our goal of 1 billion people, we will have as much abundance in the world. There will be no more poverty, no more hunger, only abundance. And this is why I'm running for the Billion Coin Leader for the New Republic of America. I thank you for your time.